Hola. Um, me llamo es Steve. <laughs> and I'm uh, Lukey Luke and the Funky Bunch, as some would say. <laughs> By some, I mean me. <laughs> uh, did I say that right? Me llamo es? Me llamo, yeah. Me llamo? Me llamo. Me llamo. Me llamo es Steve. Me llamo, me llamo. Uh, like if it ends in A, that's feminine, but O is masculine. Yeah, okay, so may I took Spanish one, yeah. <laughs> I could tell. I was going to say welcome or something like that, but I don't know any of that in Spanish. Uh, bienvenidos. I did say hola. Hello. That's... <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, I'm excited. I know that. Uh, oh, yeah, we're doing podcasts. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, guys. Join us. Um, hey, everybody. This is uh, episode six of... We, I think we have it narrowed down, but right now, for this episode, we'll stick with it's, Kish for now. It's Kish for now, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we have a few suggestions, um, but I've been thinking today a lot about, I'm never down, and I'm never uh, I'm never like really sad. I try to stay in the light. What are and, you doing? Uh, well, no, I'm trying to explain to people, and, and, and what, what, I, what I always try to do is smile. What are you doing? And one of my favorite bands of all time, which none of you will know. Steve. Taproot. Oh, God. They've got a song, and it just makes me, uh... Smile. 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 So, I've only seen these guys at least ten times, eight of them by myself, <laughs> because I love them so much, and usually I show up at places that there's like ten or twenty other people watching them. <laughs> Oh, uh, I might. We, we, we saw them together. We did. We okay. This is that's an interesting story. So that was a long night. Oh, okay. So I love Taproot. I've loved them for a very long time. When I they, think they're okay. <laughs> I I like them when they weren't so popular, and also when they're still not so popular. <laughs> um, they did have one video, one song, poem on MTV Two at one point. That was it. That, yeah. that, that one video on MTV2. That was too. the highlight of their career. That was uh, early 2000s. Anyways, so I see where they're playing a, a small venue show, but it was kind of like a uh, collection of bands that night. We went to like a club or something Ooh, over in... Um, it was uh, the plush? the pit. The pit, but it used to be, for the uh, older people my age, I think it used to be called Plush um, over off Arlington Expressway. Anyways, um, there was like two different rooms playing basically concerts, um, small concerts. But uh, Taproot was there. The, so the, who was the other band? They're they're a popular band. You sure? It was like super something, super humans. Super, I, I, it's, I think it was like super something. Anyway, well, no, no, no. I I don't remember any of them. But anyways, so we, you know we have no clue what this is gonna be like. I mean, right. I don't know if it's gonna be line out the door. Do people love Taproot as much as I? They're, so we get there super early, daylight out still. Yeah, it was a sketchy part of Jacksonville. Like uh, six or seven. Yeah, and I think they were supposed to go on at like nine or ten or something like that. They said like, all right, doors open at seven. Yeah. Doors didn't open till like seven forty-five or eight. Oh, it was yeah, it was like way later than that. Yeah. Then it was just uncomfortable because Luke, you were probably thirteen at the time. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, all ages show. I will go. It ended up being a concert inside of a club, a smoky club, next to the bar. It was, it was segregated. Into two different stages, yeah, that were like twenty feet away from each other. But you really couldn't hear each other. And yeah, and you couldn't, and you 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 could smoke in one, and you know you get you know cancer just from walking <laughs> in that room, right? And then you walk through to the clean area where there's no smoking, but there's a nice bar there and it's a decent stage. Yeah, yeah, it was that, that couches there. Okay, so we got there so early that we're like, there was some open couches and stuff near the bar. And I'm like, well, we're lazy as shit. Yeah. We'd like to sit down. And we're like looking around. There was no VIP signs or anything. So I asked somebody, they're like, yeah, man, anybody can sit there. What we didn't know was we were like four hours early, so no <laughs> one was even there to sit there. So we pretty much almost sat there and napped. We sat through some of the shittiest bands ever created on this earth. And then Taproot's getting ready to come on. I'm excited. The guys were standing around the bar beforehand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we met. I think one. I we geeked met. out. I fanboyed out a little yeah. bit. We, I like shook one of the. I think the, the lead singer, Stephen yeah. Richards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but uh, we the show probably started around eight, right? With all the all yeah. the bands. Tabroot didn't come on till one in the morning. Yeah, that was bad. I don't. I don't think it was a. I don't think it was a work slash school night from what I can remember. But it didn't matter because we usually and go to bed at ten. Though, because it was full of. 20 drunk guys. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> what was funny is that so the show and starts, that, Luke's not lying. If there was 20 people in there, I, yeah, I would be amazed. I mean, uh, I would truly be amazed. So we get out there. There was a couple of like 
chicks in mom jeans dancing. Yeah. Lucas, at one point, we're like three songs into it. Now, I'm into it. I love it. I know all the words to all the songs. I'm jamming out. We're right at the front of the stage because basically everybody could stand shoulder to shoulder <laughs> and there didn't have to be anybody behind us. And uh, I look over and Luke's gone. And I'm like, oh, this is good. My 13-year-old's missing in a <laughs> club in Jacksonville. Um, shouldn't be hard to find, though, because <laughs> there's, uh, there's no one else in here. Um, look over. Luke's sitting back on sitting back on the couch. And I'm like, hey, bud, you okay? Yeah, I'm just tired. And I'm like, well, the band that we came for just came on. Maybe we can stay for a couple songs. Oh, we did leave early. We left real early. That's my bad. And here's what's weird, too. Like, I am not like a, oh, my God, there's a celebrity or anything. But there's just something about Tapper. I love them. You know I mean? I I connect with them. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember at one point, I think you were kind of still standing with me. And the guy looks over. He looks at me. and He gives me that nod and that like, hey, man, is this cool? Is there, or you know, you guys having a good time? Because I, you know, you had met him earlier, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, man, this is this is fucking awesome, man. I may have gone like, you know, the devil horn with the fingers. <laughs> I don't even know. And I look over, and Luke's gone. Luke's uh, taking a nap. So yeah, we quickly left that. That was um, that now that ruined all the other memories I have of Taproot. I'm sorry, dude. I got to sing at one of their concerts one time. I've told you that. I feel like you've mentioned it before. A while the ago, the right? guy was doing uh, the song I actually did with the intro in uh, Smile, mm-hmm. uh, and it's their most popular song, I guess, if you follow them. And he hits the first chorus. He does it second chorus. He's getting close to He looks in the crowd. I am mosh pit crazy. I'm always the guy by myself at the concert, shirt off, uh, just trying to get shit going. Remember when I got in trouble at that one concert we yeah. went to in St. Augustine Amphitheater? And- apparently, the amphitheater in St. Augustine, where it's fancy, they don't want your mosh pit. Yeah. Or apparently, I was being too rough. Oh. Anyways, so Taproot concert by myself. I think it was at Jackrabbits or somewhere really small. Yeah. Dude throws me the microphone, and I'm, well, you've heard me sing. Yeah. And basically what that means is you've heard me out of tune yell words <laughs> that people have put together melodically in a different arrangement. Anyways, uh, so, you know, I, again, fanboyed out, geeked out, got a chance to sing the chorus, throw the microphone back to him, and I, it was just like, okay, cool, this is cool as shit. So, you know what? That that bad experience last time didn't ruin that memory. That was uh that was good. Um Oh yeah, I was like thirteen, I'm like, hey man, it's one in the morning. We've been sitting here for God. four or five plus hours. Oh easy. I was like, I'm ready to go home. I got a bedtime. <laughs> you you're all pulling the bedtime on me in reverse. <laughs> hey, listen, man, I gotta go to bed, okay? I've got uh, some growing to do with some stuff. of us have responsibilities, okay? <laughs> Can't all just party out until one in the morning. Oh no, what made it even more shitty is I wasn't drinking. Yeah. But I was like drinking like water or something, yeah. like oh I'll have a sprite. Because the water was free. Or like the, the like you'd have to pay for each thing a sprite. And each <laughs> cup of sprite. I'm like, it's like two bucks for a sprite. He's like, You better just find some water fountain fill it up. Oh, then. that's right. I was making you milk that sprite. Because we, we spend so much money on tickets, like seven dollars for two. I think if you had a McDonald's wrapper from a Big Mac or something and you could get in at half price. That was uh it was pretty sad. But but it was an experience. It created a story. That that's all I ever want. Um I, I can't help but we, we uh before we started podcasting this episode um, should we say show or podcast? Does it matter? Show sounds so fancy. I don't like it. But podcast say, I, podcast sounds grown up. I'd say show, though. I like show. I think it's a, like when people we were trying to get people back in the day to buy laser disc or or plasma TVs. You did, I mean, you'd be like, what's that? Are those what, a thing? What's, are they a thing, really? I don't think so. Well, I, there's there's like a slight difference in like color quality. That's or plasma it. versus HD or like LCD. Yeah. Can you get an HD plasma TV? I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on with TVs anymore. I don't know. I, I truly don't I'm know. I'm pretty sure there's like 3Ds and there's one that are curved. Uh-huh. So that if you sit right in front of it, it's yeah. like all the pixels are the exact same length or distance away from you, which doesn't make any sense. But people buy it for some reason. But that would be HD though, right? No? Well, I mean, pretty much all TVs. What from, kind of TV do we have? We have an... Oh, yeah, we have a crappy TV. No, no. I'm, we have a rear projection still <laughs> that has wheels on the bottom that uh, I got for free from somebody that I worked with. Um, I think most of the stuff we have is free. <laughs> it's probably a lot of it from her, too. We got she, a lot of stuff. Oh, from her. that one uh, pull-up bar with the straps and everything yeah. on it, too. Yeah. 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 Hey, thanks, former co-worker who moved hey, somewhere else. Shout out to us at, uh, you know, Kish for now on Instagram or Twitter if you want to give us some free stuff. We will take it. Uh, the couches don't match. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's None of the paint matches the any of the rooms. This, this room looks nice, but, you know, besides that. No, it does look pretty good. You could see the studio that we're in on our 
social media pages yeah. and everything. It actually turned into be a good picture. Anyways, yeah. what I was saying is, uh, as we, I was walking in here tonight to record, looking on our Rear <laughs> Projection TV, I saw something about the debates coming on, um, the presidential debates. So I really feel like we need to talk about that because it's a very important thing um, as Americans. This is the GOP one, the Republican one. Is it? I think so. Okay. Think so, 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 so the GOP, which is the Republicans, right? Right. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna sound ignorant to some of this. I'm yeah. not, so they're not debating the uh, the jackasses. So there's a uh, there's an elephant, which is the Republicans, <laughs> right? And then a yeah. donkey, which are the Democrats. So right. those two aren't debating each other. I don't. Th- think this is so. inter debating. Honestly, I have no idea. I. Think, but I think that makes sense. I think so. I'm a fact check myself real quick. Is the, no 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 hold on hold off on the fact check <laughs> okay. and I'll tell you why. Okay. Because this is interesting to me, and this is what I wanted to bring up. But first of all, going back to the fact that they're debating each other, this is a civil war debate. I'm not particularly interested in the topic because I can't vote, so therefore I don't really have a say in. Don't you want to be educated about what you need to do in a couple years when you do I'm vote? I'm usually pretty up to date with politics, but there's just so much going on now. I'm not though, but that, that, that's that's the the point I'm trying to make. You know, you kind of want to fact check, but I kind of want to just like knock around these ideas. I don't fully understand it. Yeah. Like I generally vote, and and I, I would guess I'm. I'm Man, I hate to say it. I guess I'm in the majority when I vote more with my heart and popularity and not so much with logic and reason right. based on how someone's going to affect me. Because ultimately, I'll be honest, I don't think either way whoever's elected is going to affect my life. Right. Right? Well, it, it does. It's just you don't really realize it. Like maybe I pay a little bit more in taxes like versus – Obama. With all Obama. 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 Creating all the jobs to make roads. There's constant construction going on in Jacksonville. Don't 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 speak well of him. Not here, not the South, not around the people that we <laughs> no, know. I'm saying it's affecting your life. It's affecting your traffic. Okay. Because there's all these roads because he's approved these plans to build all these roads. Okay, but if I would have voted for Mitt Romney, mm-hmm. right? That right. was his opponent in the last election. Those roads wouldn't be being built. I don't know. Like you know, how what, what well, would be different? Mid- would I be paying as much for God it, darn hamburger? It'd be John McCain from two thousand eight, two terms, two terms. Mid- no, I know, but he was twenty twelve. Mitt Romney is twenty twelve. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, that's I what mean, I'm saying. I mean, Last election, Obama uh, like implemented these plans in two thousand eight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now you're getting way I'm off just, on too many facts. Just saying. No, well, my point being, like, I, I, I just feel like I've never really noticed now. In all fairness, as I get older and I pay more in taxes, or I, you know, legalization of marijuana, legalization of gay. Who, who's marriage. doing that? I want to vote for. Now, okay, no, wait. I'm, I'm Obama's saying, not responsible for, for he, the legalization or for gay marriage, is he? That's a feels a federal thing. Yeah. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I think they that was started in each state. How do you feel about gay marriage? Seriously, I'm cool with. It. We talked about a lot of gay stuff last. <laughs> We did podcast, yes. but it was funny, and we but you know what's funny? We never touched on, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we never we never touched, touched on, on. Uh, like uh, so. You're good with with two men or two women getting married? Yeah, man. Do whatever makes you feel. feel happy, no, no, I, I'm with you. I'm just yeah. just curious, kind of how you felt. That that's the majority of how young people feel. There's you think like, so? Mm-hmm. I know some people your age. I've heard say some, stupid shit. Yeah, some people are very judgmental, but most people are like, yeah, you know. Not to criticize the Bible, like yeah, the Bible says you know it's wrong, but you know personally I'm okay with that. And well, I, I feel that's ma- how the majority of teenagers are. We're very liberal people. Okay, no, I think that's fair. I'm I'm te- team I, free thinking. I think because of all the social media and all this interaction people have with each other. Because whenever not to call you old buddy, but whenever you were growing up, you didn't have as much communication with everyone, right? Right. You would have to personally call someone or go see someone to talk to them. But with Twitter, like and texting, all this. I can literally reach anyone in the world in a second. Do you think it's oversaturation of a certain subject or a certain social issue that makes it acceptable to these young people? Whereas before, you didn't see many gay people. You just didn't. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? When you saw them, you're like, oh, two guys hugging and kissing. But now you're like, it's it's on every TV show. It's on, you know, I mean, so, so everybody's like, okay, it's gay people, which... I guess could be a good thing right. because acceptance through knowledge or just the fact that you realize those are just people, right? Yeah, guess, Does that make yeah. sense? I guess, yeah. I don't know. It's interesting. I, I don't know that people would be so liberal if it wasn't for social media. I mean, that's interesting because, you know, I, I poo-poo on social media sometimes. <laughs> um, 
Which is funny because I'm basically doing verbal, you know, posting this is, on oh, this. This is nothing physical. We're not selling this on CDs. We're putting it, we're putting it on YouTube. Yeah, right? no, I know, I know. I understand the irony of it, but it's uh, it's good for the right uses. Sometimes it's just excessive. I've I've said this before. You know, it's it's. I like the people that I like. I'm friends with people for a reason. And then mm-hmm. sometimes on social media, you'll you'll see things they say, and you're like, oh. "Oh man, I totally disagree with that." But you would have said that in front of me now. I don't know. You're like, <laughs> "Oh, I wish I could uh, block you in real life. Wow. I wish I didn't know those things." You know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. And I know we're gonna say things at, at certain points. We may have already yeah. that, that some people are like, "Oh, they like them fucking gays." You know what I mean? What it's I, like? Why did they have to be redneck, man? Oh, I'm sorry. It's hey, man. Shit. What them gay? Why you like them? No, why is he black now? That wasn't black. It's, it's a black dude voice. No, man. How, why do you think that all the time? What would it be? It's Scottish, man. It's Canadian. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Um, I was about to do an Irish accent, but again, I can't. They want me lucky charms. The gays, they want me lucky charms. All I can think of is the guy from Austin Powers when Dr. Evil and uh, Frau Forbissena are making fun of him. And they're like, you know, oh, it's a little leprechaun, you know, because she's like German or whatever. They're trying to steal my lucky charms. <laughs> He's like, they're always like, trying to steal my lucky charms. They're like, well, what did you say? Like, they're trying to steal my lucky charms. They're like, we're saying like, why does it, he, he goes, he goes, why does everybody always laugh when I say that? You know, like, I, it's the kids. They're like, get these lucky charms, get the lucky charms. It's the cereal. Yeah, anyway, wow, we, okay. We could sit here all night and do movie quotes. And why have more people not seen the other guys? I know. God. I know. Dude, I could talk an hour about that. And I sh- still get new scenes from it. Shout out to the other guys with Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Oh, man. Man, Mark Wahlberg is rough in movies, but in comedies, to me, he always nails it. Right. And I don't know why my voice changed. I don't know. Somebody hit the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Mickey Mouse? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> was that Goofy or Mickey? Exactly. No, that was Goofy Mickey. <laughs> um... Ah, man, anyways. Uh, okay, don't touch my hands. I know, I just now I want to start talking about the other guys. We should play, like, clips or, or have, like, a, a movie playing in the background sometime and just, just commentate on that the whole time. Sure. That, oh, well, bad well, idea. We'd have to get, like, a video going. And, like, we're, it's, like, showing the movie and we're just talking about it the whole time. Okay, but the people can see it, like, in a little box below it. Right. And we also have no audio in general right now. I mean, no video in general. Video. No, I can use my iPhone and try to figure it out, but that's not any fun. Would it throw you off if randomly through each podcast I throw out suggestions for what our podcast should be named? No, go for it. Dapper Dandy Fop. <laughs> that was mine. I like that. Dapper Dandy Fop. What, what, what was Dapper Dan? That was. Uh, well, no, 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 no. no. I, I'm trying to think of just. Dapper the, Dan is the the, uh, the, the hair, hair stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah, to style with. Um, Dan was, oh, brother, where art that one? Yeah, made like, famous from that. He's like, I don't want no. This, I want Dapper Dan. Yeah, okay. what was the other one? I don't the guy offered him. Um, but I just like Dandy Fop. I like hanging out with Dandy Fop, Dapper too. Dandy Fop. Um, I hate to do too many in a row, but that's why I say, can I just throw yeah, them out randomly whenever care. we're doing it? But, um, I need to give some, some pro. I, I hit us with that 24 karat kish last episode. That I, was, I liked it. I know. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it towards the top of the list. Sure. Um, uh, a buddy of mine in the mines, in the, uh, the old salt mines, uh, John, he, he liked using a play on our last name, kind of like you did in a previous episode. Right. He went with a long kish good night. <laughs> That's good, man. There's something sensual about that. What? We're a couple of sensual guys. Right. Did you just bust ass? I did, yes. The number one rule we made before we walked through the I doors. Made it too. You said you can't bust ass in the studio. I know. I didn't think about it. Good thing this isn't smell vision My God, man. A little smell-o-vision. respect. That's Anyways, bad, man. no, yeah, it just completely derail what we've got going on. It, it wasn't a silent but violent one. It was audible. Did so. you say silent but violent? Yeah, you never. Heard I've that. never heard you that. You never heard that. That's our common saying for today. Really, silent but violent. I've heard silent but deadly. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you know, but no, I get it. Violent, I know what it means. Silent, rhyme. Silent but violent. No, silent but violent. I'm a little lightheaded right now, <laughs> and I think it may be because of your silent but violent uh, excretion. It wasn't silent. How would you? You made the rule. This is your studio. I know. It's my room. This is my bed right next to me. But I've it's my dresser. For... Those are my guitars. Yeah, I paid for the house, I, though. The... I know. Yeah. I know, dude. I'm sorry. Did we... I don't know. Did we answer any questions about the debate? Now I kind of want to watch it. I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. I mean, it's... 
It just, I just feel like all the answers are predetermined based on predetermined questions. Well, yeah. Don't you think that they see a list of questions probably first? Probably the idea, I think. Yeah, I don't know. So it's just like, I guess they, I don't know. Maybe we should go watch it and then well, maybe we do an episode about it. No one, people that aren't good at live stuff don't do live stuff. Like, you know. Uh, live. I thought you were saying life. Live. Like, as it's happening. So oh, you don't think people are going to get because, tripped up too much? Because they, they're not good at thinking on their feet. Because now, if you see, yeah, trumped up. Because, <laughs> like, you've seen videos of Donald Trump, and he just, like, he can't handle the press because he can't think on his feet. No, I think what it is is he doesn't care to filter anything. Probably, yeah. I'm filthy fucking rich. Screw you guys. Whether I'm president or not, I'm going to have a good life. Any publicity is good publicity. He may, he may or may not at some point in his life have broken off a ring finger and a hooker's ass. <laughs> Yeah? Okay, sure. I don't know. If he did, I mean, he's got the money to get it fixed. <laughs> um. Anyway, maybe we should maybe we should go ahead and end this one now and just go catch a little bit of the debate. Sure. Do you oh, want to... It sounds boring, but sure. Do you want to debate that? Well, don't say sure then. Just debate, debate me about it and say, no, I don't want to. Well, like, we're following a formula here. We're, like, doing, like, 20 minutes. Like, the last few have been, like, 20 minutes. I know. I don't I don't know if people want a longer one or a short one. Hey! Uh, message us or tweet us at Instagram and Twitter at you know at Kish for now. Tell us you know if you like short podcasts, longer podcasts in between. Because right now I think the past few have been running about twenty minutes. The first one was like nine minutes, and the one after that was like twenty six minutes. No, and, and and that's good. And guys, definitely give us some feedback because I, I I've heard I heard people you know today are like hey. Uh, they they'd only heard the first one like that's too short. Well, yeah, the first one was pretty short, but we needed to get the the, the product. That, it's like yeah. a drug dealer. First one's free, man. Right. We suck you in, and then we give you the good stuff. Give um, us some some. Actually, we give you the bad stuff. We'll start cutting it with some bad jokes and everything else. Uh, but then you know some of the twenty minute ones. Um, even people people were even like you know oh you know I was just kind of getting into it or you you know you guys I feel like it cut off you know so just give us some feedback. We'd really appreciate it. Um, you guys interacting with us is cool. Um, and we honestly do this. We, we, we know we're not going to be rich. We know we're not going to be famous. <laughs> I have no intention of being rich or famous. No, not at all. Um, but, but we do, we, we, we've got it in our bios and stuff like that, but we really do like making people laugh. You know, we just want to, we want to bring smiles to the masses. It's good stuff. Two scoops of cute, man. Two scoops of cute. That's, that's, that's jump to the top of the list. Maybe, maybe some, uh, maybe some nuts on top. Why did you say that? <laughs> Why would you say that? Well, because two scoops of cute with nuts on top? Yeah. With nuts on top. Can like, I say with a couple of nuts? Like peanuts. But are yes. you saying like two scoops? Then, and then also joke because we were talking about gay stuff. Did you say Joe? Joke. 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 Because we were talking about all the gay stuff. I, I Joke yeah, nuts? I no joke. I don't, I don't know. If, I'm not following you right now. You don't. You don't understand. The I joke. think pretty much we need to cut this off at twenty one minutes because. No, no, no. I'm gonna explain to myself. Go ahead. I said, you said two scoops were cute. Right. Generally, when you think scoops, you think ice cream, right? I no, I actually didn't, but okay, but, okay, I do okay, now. That, so that was the problem. I thought ice cream. Okay. Okay. So I was like, okay, you put a topping on ice cream. You usually put some some nuts. You know, whatever. I got you. And then you know, I was making an imp- in a very inappropriate joke about you know all the gay stories you were telling. Whoa, man. Whoa. I didn't have any nuts on top. Homosexual stories. No, it was talking about the human male anatomy. You know? I gotcha. It was a reference to that. No, I, I got that part. It was a bad joke, yes. <laughs> How about we do this? You leave the jokes to me. Okay. And the being pretty to you. Okay, I'll just criticize everything you say. Is that Does that work? No, I don't like that either. No, I've been doing that anyway. I'm pretty, I, think, I feel like it works. Well, can we stop doing that? I feel like you probably shouldn't. Someone getting their feelings hurt? This has been a good episode, guys. I appreciate you listening. We're going to take you out with a little taproot. It's the same song.